So for German, when he's not touching that, um, what you're going to do, so guys, now we have another point, right? So now what we need to do, they're asking us to evaluate all six trigonometric functions, all of them. So to do this, again, we need to determine the point. But hopefully you guys kind of uh, gone through this. If we're looking at the unit circle and I start at my initial side and I rotate to my terminal side, hopefully you guys know that pi halves is the exact, well, if this is pi, then this is 1 half of pi, right? So if that's 180 and to go there, that's like half of it, which would be like 90 degrees, right? So what is that point? Well, remember the radius on the unit circle is 1, and it's on the y-axis. So therefore, my point is going to be 0, 1. right? That's the point that I'm going to use. So whenever I have to evaluate all six trigonometric functions, the first thing you guys want to do is make sure you can draw the angle. Okay, Draw what the angle looks like. Second step, find the point on the unit circle that, is in, that the angle is relating to. Third step, write out all your trigonometric functions. So we have sine of t, cosine of t, tangent of t. Okay. Now remember, only when you have an angle that has a point on the unit circle does sine of t equal the y coordinate. Because remember, only when it's on the unit circle is our hypotenuse of our triangle equal to 1. So sine is equal to y, cosine is equal to x, and tangent is equal to y over x. So ladies and gentlemen, once we know the point, this is easy. right? Remember a point, x and y. y is 1. x is 0. Tangent, 1 over 0. But please, guys, please, I'll try to make sure this is very, very clear for you, Charlie. But please, guys, do not leave your answer as 1 over 0. You have to be able to write undefined. Okay, And I'll just write und because I'm going to try to make this video a little quick. Um, then we use the reciprocal functions. The cosecant of t is equal to 1 over y. The secant of t is equal to 1 over x. And the cot, or cotangent of t, better known, is equal to x over y. So 1 over y. Well, what's 1 over 1? 1. What's 1 over 0? What's 1 over 0? Undefined. What's x over y? 0. OK, that's how you do that. Yes.